Hi guys, Aka here. Today, we got quite a few updates from Ebony. So we're gonna take a look at a couple of the most important ones. The first one we're gonna be looking at is the Lost Treasure event. If you go to the event center, you see it there, Lost Treasures. And when we click on it, we come in here. So basically, this is a way for you to get more rewards by collecting items and doing various random things. The key item that you need to collect here is the golden compass. Now you can get the golden compass from bosses, from gathering, and as of course you might expect from packs as well. From bosses, you get seven. From gathering, you get three every day. Right now you can see I have eight. So I've gotten the max number from bosses and I was able to get one from gathering. Now, technically, you can get these compasses from level one tiles. However, from the short time that I spent gathering, which was about 30 minutes, I was only able to get one. So the rate on the lower tiles is quite low. You would probably have to spend a bit more time gathering on higher level tiles for you to guarantee yourself the drops. So all in all, you'll be able to get 10 of these golden compasses from grinding every day. And like I said, of course, you come here and there's a special pack for it, which costs about $10. And in there, you get a few golden compasses and some other items. Now, aside from the golden compasses, the other key item that you need here is the treasure chest. These you get along the way and they are related to the golden compasses. So we'll talk about them in a second. Going back, how the event works is you get your compasses, then you have to come here where it says treasures and select the treasure that you want to find. It tells you how many compasses you require for each level of searching. So for level one, you need two, for level two, you need four and so on. And if you scroll down, you will see the various prizes available for you to get. As you see here, level five, one of the treasures available to be found is the treasure chest. And you get 60 of these. Now, when you get these, you come here and you can open them to get various rewards. As you see here, you have the various rewards there. And the main reward that you'll be looking for here is the Undead Legion March. This is the main prize from the treasure boxes, so this is what you'll be looking to get. Now, the treasure boxes are related to the compasses in the sense that it says you need one golden compass to compose one lost treasure box. But as you can see, even with eight compasses, the feature is not available to compose. So the assumption is that you would need the treasure chest before you can use the compasses to carry on. For the treasures, if we go back to the list and we keep scrolling down, aside from the treasure chests, here is the main prize. The main prize is the Syriacus city. I hope I got that pronounced right. Syriacus. Anyway, and as you can see, this is a castle that has buffs. So we have reinforcement capacity, 20%, in-city siege machine attack, 20%, in-city mounted troop defense, 30%, in-city mounted troop HP, 30%. All in all, fairly decent castle. Now, of course, as you would expect, there's a bit of a catch. Because as you can see here, it's on level 10. And you need 20 compasses to be able to search to get this treasure. Now, what I'm assuming, and we will find that out shortly, is that every time you search will not guarantee you getting a prize. So you might need to search a few times before you actually get the prize that you want. Now, this event is for 14 days and you get 10 compasses every day. So at the end of the event, you could get a total of 140 compasses without spending money. Again, my assumption is that 140 compasses is likely not going to be enough to get you this castle. Again, 
I'll add information to the comments once I find out more. Now that we've gotten all the back explanation out of the way, let's actually try and search for a treasure. So I'm going to pick one. So let's say I go with the rune stones. I select the rune stones and it tells me that the treasure cannot be changed until the round ends. Continue. Yes. I've selected my treasure. Let's try to find something. So we click on the first map here and let's see what it gives us. Okay, so I got some random resources that didn't amount to anything. That's great. Let's try again one more time. Again, random nonsense. Let's try a different one. Let's see. Nothing. Okay, let's carry on. Again, nothing. So, as I expected, you're going to need quite a few of these compasses before you get the reward that you've selected. Right now, I'm out of compasses, so there really isn't much I can do here. But if there are any significant updates, I'll post a comment or I'll make another video to show exactly what's going on here. If you have any information, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Okay, so that's it for the lost treasure. And the other significant update that we want to have a look at before we go is if you come over here to champion and i'm sure a lot of you are always excited every time you come here we see helen now helen is great she's nice and yeah she's been a pleasure to have around but it looks like we're getting i'm gonna guess helen's sister cousin second cousin anyway we're getting another Helen. Her name is Elizabeth. And you can see here, it shows you the various attributes and stats that you can get once you have fed her, uh, sorry, no. Once you have appeased her enough so that she gives you rewards. Now, to unlock Elizabeth, you need to get this Bavarian flower item, which we're currently getting as drops from Boss Monsters. From what it said, in the description you need 400 of these flowers to be able to unlock elizabeth i haven't played that much today so far and i've only been able to get three of these flowers so if i'm able to grind it out throughout the event get 400 then i'll be able to unlock elizabeth and hopefully start getting some stats from her now those are the major events available in this update and as I get more information, I'll roll it out, possibly make another video to show everyone how it's done. For now, thank you for your time, guys. Aka signing out.